Hello everyone out there, it's John, back again with another food review, testing on a new product, seeing if I like it, and telling you what the results of my opinion are. Today I have a new, actually two, I have two new chicken sandwiches. Every place that sells anything from tacos to pizza seems like they're coming out with a chicken sandwich. This place actually does kind of make sense, though. Boston Market. I don't have a, a bag to show you, but here's a wrapper with a logo. Boston Market. Boston Market, <clears throat> their, their typical thing is like rotisserie chicken um, with a bunch of different options for sides, such as macaroni, mashed potatoes, spinach, vegetables, sweet potatoes, rice, etc., cornbreads, cookies, all that stuff. And they usually have like chicken, turkey, I think they actually have meatloaf and ribs maybe even. But um, before this sandwich came out, they did have other sandwiches. They were like sliced chicken and sliced turkey, like on a kind of like a hoagie roll is what it seemed like. And I think they also had like chicken salad. But this is the first time they're making an actual crispy chicken sandwich and they have two varieties uh, the first one is the BLT which is the one in this wrapper and then they also have a Nashville hot chicken which is one in this wrapper the BLT looks a lot bigger but I assume they use the same piece of chicken maybe the buns bigger maybe there's more stuff on it um, I had an idea but I lost it um, they are, they were both around the same price. The BLT is a little more expensive. Uh, I got these in a combo and they were like 11 something for the combo for the Nashville. And it was like 12 something for the combo with the BLT chicken sandwich. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try them out. I'm going to start with one that's not spicy. We'll start with the BLT chicken sandwich. Comes in one of those mirror buns, the brioche. Inside, you have one, two, three, four half strips of bacon with a, a ranch mayo sauce, I believe. And underneath, we have tomatoes, lettuce, and more of the mayo sauce. As you can see, some of that lettuce has browned or gotten dark on there. Probably from the heat of the chicken. The chicken patty itself doesn't look too special. It's not very crispy. Even the, the very end of it is not really crispy. It's kind of hardened, but not crispy. The bun feels really thick and dense, not soft at all. But anyway, let's give it a taste. There's a lot of bun to get through. When you feel the sandwich in the package, it feels like a hefty, big sandwich. But then, like, look at the ratio of the chicken to the bun. Just the top half of this bun is almost twice the size as the piece of chicken inside. Then you have the bottom bun as well. I'm going to take one more bite. I'll let you know what I think. I remember my thought from earlier. It was about that dark lettuce. Any place that delivers, fast food or otherwise, if you have a sandwich that has lettuce on it, is it too hard of you to put the lettuce on the side? 
regardless if someone asks or not, if that sandwich is being wrapped up, put in a bag, put in someone's delivery vehicle, and sent to God knows where, by the time you get that, at least some of the lettuce is going to be not so fresh, not so good. This sandwich definitely has that going for it. Uh, the chicken has cooked the lettuce, it is wilted, it is dark, and it gets a weird sliminess to it, and it's just not appealing. Especially if you have just like a big old slice of lettuce. Could you just put that in like a separate bag or something? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, here's my review of this. The breading on this chicken. It has that same seasoning that the rotisserie chicken has, I think. It's just like a flavorful spice blend and the uh, the ranch sauce on the sandwich is actually pretty good as well um, the bacon although not extremely crispy adds something it's not the ba best bacon I've had from a fast food place or anywhere Bacon is bacon. Even the worst bacon, if it's pork bacon, is still bacon. This one is on the lower end of when it comes to smoky flavor. There's something there. But I've definitely had more crispy, flavorful bacon. And I don't know that didn't sound like a positive, but on that note, that's the end of the positive things about the sandwich. The bun is too big and dense. Uh, it takes too much to get through the bun to taste the chicken and everything inside of it. Even though the sauce is good, even though the seasoning I like on the chicken, the uh, the amount of chicken compared to the bun is not good. The bacon is definitely on the lower end of fast food bacon flavor-wise. Um, the chicken is juicy enough. It's not dry, but there's so much bun that it becomes dry when you're trying to chew through it. Overall, the Boston Market BLT chicken sandwich is not going to change the game. It's not going to be winning any chicken sandwich uh, competitions. I'm going to give it a 7.1 out of 10. Still not terrible. Still going to eat it. Probably not going to order it again. Anyway, let's move on. Now we have the Nashville Hot Chicken. Same mirror shiny bun, brioche. On the top half, we have some pickles. You the pickles on the chicken there. And on the bottom half, looks like we have some kind of sauce. I think it's the same ranch sauce that's on the BLT one. So no lettuce, no tomato, no bacon. They add a Nashville hot sauce and they add pickles and have the same ranch. Let's give it a try. I still feel the heaviness of the bun. Again, no matter how no matter how juicy the chicken is, if your bun is three times the density of the chicken, it's gonna dry it out. So much work chewing through that bun. Hmm. Okay. 
That is potentially the biggest insult to Nashville hot chicken I've ever been witness to. There's no spice at all. I don't know if it's because there's just not a lot of spice sauce on this or that their spice sauce is just not spicy. Let me see if I can just get it. No. Their Nashville hot sauce is the opposite of hot. This should be like Nashville cold chicken. No spice at all. It tastes like barbecue sauce. It looks like it should be spicy, but it's not at all. The, uh, the sauce, it, like I said, it's more like barbecue than anything. It's not even a spicy barbecue. There's absolutely no heat to this whatsoever. Um, the ranch sauce on here is less flavorful for some reason than the other one. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe the barbecue sauce on here overpowers it. If it was just a barbecue chicken, I guess the barbecue flavor is not terrible. But it's supposed to be Nashville hot, and it's neither Nashville nor hot. I will say, the pickles I enjoyed. Good. Crunch, good flavor. So, there's the, the positive for the sandwich. Um, all that said, it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste like, a, like there's anything wrong with the chicken. Uh, there's nothing about this that tastes disgusting. It's just a slap in the face to anyone who knows anything about Nashville hot chicken. So that being said, it's not going to get lower than a 5, but it will get a 5.6 out of 10. So low because just the atrocity of how you name this and what it tastes like. Um, yeah. So Boston Market, both chicken sandwiches, I would say, very disappointing. One way more than the other. The BLT one, at least is what it says it is. There's bacon, lettuce, and tomato on a chicken sandwich. Uh, the biggest complaint I have, and this goes for both of them, is the bun to chicken ratio. It just dries up everything you're going for. You you have chicken breast in here, but you've done something that manages to keep them juicy. But then you go and put it on this giant dry ass bun. That's on you, Boston Market. That's on you. You are not going to win. You're not even going to place in any chicken sandwich contest with these two offerings. I guess you could try again. I don't know if I would tr if I would give you a second chance after these two, though. Um, anyway, this is like the third chicken sandwich in a row that I've been really disappointed in. And there's still, I know, two new ones. Burger King has a hand-breaded one. And that's coming out slowly in different places. Hasn't come out where I'm at yet. And I know McDonald's is supposed to have one by the end of February as well. And when you're depending on Burger King and McDonald's to come out with a good chicken sandwich, uh, that doesn't bode very well. So I might have four and five in terms of bad chicken sandwiches. Uh, coming up in the near future, I might have to go out and just eat a Popeye's chicken sandwich somewhere in between just so I know that somewhere in the world good chicken sandwiches still are a thing anyway hope you enjoy this video even though very disappointed FYI no one needs to go and try out these Boston Market chicken sandwiches give this video a thumbs up maybe two go on a second account and thumbs it up as well and give me a second watch Subscribe to the channel, and as long as you're thumbs upping on two accounts, subscribe on two accounts. Heck, go on your mom's computer and subscribe on her account.
For some reason, the audio cut out on this. <laughs>